All right, so today we're going to take a look at JShell with Windows 10. And JShell is typically accessible using PowerShell, and PowerShell tends to be built into Windows 10 these days. So I go into Cortana, load it up, and I type in JShell, and it doesn't work. There's a, an error that comes up saying it's not recognized. So what, what's going on here? Um, well, I think I need to download an external version of the JDK. That's what I need to do. Not the one that's internal to IntelliJ, but one that's external because it looks like we need to set a path variable. And, and that can be complicated depending on where the JDK is installed. And when we use uh, the internal installation system of IntelliJ, it hides it in a, in a place that isn't normal. So let's go and try and find uh, an external JDK. Typically, we would have gone to adopt uh, Open JDK, but it's no longer there. They've moved the project. And so we're going to go find that other project because here you can only get up to version 16 of the JDK. So Adoptium is the place that we want to go. So Adoptium.net, A-D-O-P-T-I-U-M dot N-E-T. And we scroll down and we're looking for the version that for our uh, version of Windows, the, the flavor for our version of Windows. So we're looking for uh, version 17. In this case, I've got a 64-bit Windows machine. So there it is, Temerin 17 LTS, so long-term stability or service. I want that latest release, version 17.01 or something, and I'm going to install it. Now here, we want to set Java Home, the variable, which is currently X'd out, we want to set it so that it's not X'd out. That's important, all right? So we want to make sure those three first items, add to path, associate, associate jar, and set Java home to be on. And we finish the installation, and this will install a version of the JDK outside of IntelliJ, which is actually normally how we used to do it with versions 11 and 14 and 15 before. So we wait for the installation to finish. takes a while my computer I sped it up here I've completed the installation you don't need Eclipse for this um, and now I'm going to open up PowerShell I go to Cortana at the bottom I type in PowerShell and I open it up and now we're going to type in JShell so I type it in here and now because the environment variable was set properly it finds it we're good to go. We test out one plus one, hit enter, it means two. I'm going to do a print line just to make sure. You don't have to put a semicolon at the end. Just close it up with a parenthesis. You can put the semicolon if you want. Done. Slash exit, goodbye. We're good. Now let's load up IntelliJ and make sure I didn't mess it up, that it still works as it should. So I'm opening up IntelliJ. I did it through Cortana, um, but you can use the toolbox to do that. I'm going to start a new project. So file new, file new project. That's what I'm going to do. I have an old project right here. I'm going to open up a new project outside of this one. That was from before. So I'll go up to the file menu at the top. New. Do that again here. I had to close off the old uh, J shell that was in there. I'll tell you about that after. So new project. We'll do the standard stuff in here. Next, next. Give it a project name. So test project. Open up in this window or new window, depending on what you want to do. And then we're going to go into the source folder. We'll create a package. Give it whatever name you want inside the package. I put a new class. And then I'm going to put a main method in here. This is your main function, your main method. So there we go. I'm going to put a print statement out using the shortcuts main and s out. I'm going to compile it and run it. And we should see in the console that it prints the word hello. 
I fast forward to this too because my machine's really slow. Hold on. It is a really slow Windows machine. And there, it worked. Hello, we're good. Okay, so hello worked. Now, here's the other thing. It turns out that there is a Java shell or J shell inside of IntelliJ under the tools menu. And it shows up here and it doesn't work, I think, as well as the PowerShell does, or at least I don't like it as much, but it is there. So uh, if, um, if you really need to, you can use it. And you hit the run button right there and it will run the commands inside of your J shell that's internal to IntelliJ. And the uh, results will end up there. There you go, J shell on Windows.